In class, we talked about a system, how that was interrelated components that get a task done. So how does that relate to an information system? So an information system, or IS, you sometimes hear it called, is basically interrelated subsystems. So different smaller systems that do a particular task. And all these systems come together and do these following functions. Collect, store, process, and the key thing here is distribute information. That is how it gets to be an information system. Now this information is then used for planning, decision making, and control. Now there are two different types of systems kind of shown in the pictures below. One is a file cabinet, and yes, technically that could be an information system. However, typically we refer to an information system as a computerized system, because honestly, that's really the only way to get good information out in a quick manner for running businesses is a computerized information system. So from here on out, we're going to refer to an information system as a computerized system that gets, stores, collects, processes, and distributes information. And you'll see those words kind of come into play in the next chapter a little bit uh, with more precise meaning. So we've uh, inadvertently used the word subsystem, and subsystem, we need to define that then, is basically a smaller system of your entire information system. So your entire information system can be made up of subsystems such as the accounting information system, the system that generates all the financial information, the payroll system, the purchasing system, the accounts receivable system, sales, a production system, a human resources system. All this, these systems are collecting data that all feed together to help support the overall organization. But each subsystem performs a specific function or a series of tasks that are all related. So what is an AIS? So it's a subsystem, just like we kind of referred to in the previous slide but it focuses on accounting information. So some typical accounting information that goes out to users, for example, would be our financial statements, but it can also be managerial reports that are used internally for various decision-making. And we'll talk a little bit about those throughout the class. Now, accounting depends on the flow of information from other subsystems, marketing, finance, supply chain, human resources, production, um, and that is just to name a few. Depending on the complexity of the organization, it may be many more. So what are some of the components of an accounting information system? Here are just three. I just show brief pictures here. Hardware, we're pretty familiar with that. Uh, this is anything from a laptop to a smartphone now. Um, large servers, all the networking equipment to direct traffic, so routers. Um, so those are pretty things, simple things, even your mouse, right, it is a piece of hardware. Software, the picture there shows Microsoft Office Suite, and that's just some basic software. In this class, we'll use Excel, we'll use QuickBooks, we'll use Tableau, just to name a couple. Um, but there's a variety of software. There's your ERP systems, which we'll talk about in the next chapter. Now we have the best hardware and software, and without people, it just really doesn't matter. You, the, best soft, the best hardware and software won't do anything without people. And part of that is well-trained people. You can't just put somebody at the keyboard and say, go. You need a way for them to be able to understand how to use the system to get the most information out of it. So those are the three big components, but there are some more. The next one is procedures. We need to know how to process this data. For example, how do we create a purchase order, which will then purchase goods and services that we need for our organization. We need a process on how to run payroll. We need a process on how to make the closing entries 
in the accounting information system. Along with that, we need data. We need data that's stored. And that picture happens to be from, I believe it's Facebook's uh, server's uh, data center in Altoona, Iowa. But data has to be stored somewhere. And actually, it takes a large number of buildings to run the systems that we're talking about today. And especially if you back up all the information, uh, we're talking some large buildings that house just data centers or data. And the last thing for an accounting information system, which is what we're going to focus on in this class, is internal controls. How do we safeguard our data assets? How do we use our systems to ensure that the data going in pr produces good information coming out? So that concludes what the components of what is an information system and what is an accounting information system.